Time now. Bit. See you later, Sean. 23 minutes past six. Now, when 12-year-old Billy Caldwell had his medicinal cannabis oil confiscated at Heathrow Airport, it led to some MPs calling for a change to drugs laws. Yeah, the Home Office is re reviewing the use of med medicinal cannabis and looking at individual cases. Well, Radio One's Newsbeat's Jim Connolly has been to meet one man who says he'd benefit from the drug being prescribed. I've had crippling pain that's left me bed-bound and unable to work at times. Alex was diagnosed with Crohn's disease at 19. Over the past eight years, he's tried a range of medication to control his condition. Alex knows he's breaking the law, but says taking cannabis in a variety of ways helps him. I've recently had surgery to remove most of my large bowel that's left me with a colostomy. Cannabis helps my pain, it helps my nausea, it helps me eat and it helps me sleep um, with very minimal side effects. He's not alone. Campaigners say tens of thousands of people would benefit from it being prescribed. The government is currently reviewing medicinal cannabis use, brought on by Billy Caldwell's story. His mother Charlotte campaigned to get him cannabis oil, which she says reduces the number of epileptic seizures he has. Common sense and the power of mothers and fathers of sick children has bust the political process wide open. And while the review's happening, it set up an expert panel to look at individual cases. But there's criticism. Put yourself in your situation. You've got a friend, a family, a loved one who you believe could benefit from medical cannabis. When they say it's available if you go in front of this panel, you're going to be there. But what would you do differently then? Medical cannabis under prescription, prescribed by GPs. GPs can prescribe a whole range of drugs already for a whole range of circumstances. But it has to be a widespread throughout the kingdom because the problem exists widespread throughout the kingdom. Alex wants to arrange a meeting with the expert panel. Thank you for calling the Home Office. But is worried he doesn't qualify. So there isn't a number at all to speak to for the expert panel on medicinal cannabis. The process that they set up is very complicated and convoluted for chronically ill patients like myself to get through. Um, I really do just want to be sat down in front of that panel to explain them why cannabis helps me live my life. Um, and it's incredibly frustrating that I don't think I'm going to fit the criteria and I don't think I'll probably get seen. We've been trying to get more details on this, but the Home Office won't speak to us. Cases like Billy's. We wanted answers to a range of things, like what medical conditions would be considered by the panel and how many cases they expected to review. They wouldn't speak to us and sent us a statement instead. It says the expert panel will look at applications from senior clinicians for patients with exceptional conditions. Adding this means cases will be firmly based on medical evidence, meaning patients will get access to the most appropriate treatment. It all means for now, by using cannabis to manage his Crohn's symptoms, Alex is breaking the law and could go to prison for five years. Jim Connolly, BBC News. We'll be talking about this a little bit later on in the programme as well, aren't we? With uh, well. mother of uh, uh, her son who uh, re wants to use this and, and make sure she gets a licence for it. And uh, also we'll be talking to a doctor about it as well. But time now to get the news, travel and weather wherever you are this morning.